everyone. This is Ivan live stream here. I'm Danya. You know, last week I got a very terrible toothache, so I went to the hospital and I noticed one thing that I think almost everyone has experienced but didn't pay attention. So today I would like to share that with you. Let's watch some videos. That's it, blood collection. I think almost everyone has experience. But have you noticed the things they used for the whole procedure? Let's play it back. Yes, there are two things will be used in this procedure. Blood collection tube and the needle. The tube is called vacuum blood collection tube. So, do you know how a tube is produced? I think you are also curious about this. So today, let's go to visit a vacuum blood collection tube factory. Hello everyone, so today we came to a vacuum blood collection tube factory. Let's go to the workshop and have a look. Follow me. Okay, now we are in the second change room. So uh, for entering into the clean room, we have to change our clothes and wear mask. Let's go. Okay, hello. Hi, so now we are in the clean room. We will go inside in different workshop to see how a tube is produced. So this room is for labeling. We can see. At the beginning, the tube without any label, label. And now, after this machine, 
the label will be pasted here. The tubes, empty tubes without labeling, are bought, purchased here like this as raw material. And here, after labeling, the tubes will be pasted the label like this. So just now we came out from the labeling room and now we are uh, in the hallway. In this workshop, they will fill the additives and put a cap and tube together and put the finished tube on a tray. and have a look. Is this the same way the tube you see in the hospital? Do you remember in last room we put the label on the tube and now all the labels with the tube will be loaded here.
And now let's go. Addictive inside. For feeling addictive inside. And you can see there are different colors of tabs. Uh, that means different kind of tubes. So for different kind of tubes, you will need to add a different additive. So that will be different stations. In this station, the, we can see the cap will be put on the upside of the tube. As it. After capping, the tube will be transferred to that station. It's for the vacuum station. So that uh, we will make vacuum in that station, and then a tube will be finished like this. And uh, because we cannot sell it just like this, right? So we will need to put them in the in a tray. Could you please? Yeah. So uh, a tube is finished, and now we we are putting the tube on the tray. You can see. And then they will be transferred in the computer to the heat tree and heat machine. All the tubes after they will be after loaded in the tray, they will be packed like this by a film. And uh, there will be a label here, show the information of the tube and the procedure of blood collection. Okay, now our visit to a vacuum blood collection tube factory is almost finished. Do you have an idea to open your own factory like this? Next, I will tell you how. See you later. Wow, it's so cold, so I have to wear this jacket now. Okay, last time you uh, showed your interest to have your own factory of uh, vacuum blood collection too. And I told you, I will tell you how. Then today, I will give you the reply how. Firstly, you need to have a factory. Secondly, you need to buy a production line. So today, I will invite you to Go to the most famous and the leading factory of vacuum blood collection tube production line in China. More than 85% uh, of Chinese factories are using their line. Among them, the most famous brands like Improve, GD, CD Reach, uh, KDL, and uh, many other factories. And in the overseas market, they are selling to Russia, Japan, 
India, Turkey, Saudi Arabia, and many countries. And they have absolute high market share in these countries. So let's go to this factory and uh, have a look. And of course, if you have cottons, you can check with me. You know why? Because I'm so proud to tell you, I'm working <laughs> in this famous and leading factory, Shanghai Ivan Farm Tech Engineering Company. Let's go. We have more than 20 years of experience in this field, and our mission is create value for customers. From the first generation of line to the newest generation of line, we are occupying the market in China and overseas. And you can see in our factory, we have so many cargoes waiting for delivery and so many orders waiting for production. And if you want to buy a line now, the lead time is after June. While you are visiting our factory and you decided to launch this project, what will you care about? What's the capacity of the production line? Uh, I want to uh, make a new factory of a vacuum black fashion tube and uh, I want to ask uh, if I can make uh, all kinds of tube by uh, the line or I need to uh, make different tubes by different lines. Okay. That's my question. Okay. What about the configuration of your production line? In last production factory, I just see different uh, separate single machines in here. Like uh, in this room is labeling machine and uh, over here is capping or dosing, something like that. But I had to go through your catalog. That's a complete production line. I light all machines from unscrewing to packing. So. Could you tell me the reason? Um, I'm new in this field. Just uh, I, I don't know how to make it and how to organize my factory. I, uh, I have a capacity to invest. I have money. But can you help me to um, organize this factory and run this business and uh, give me more details about this factory, how to do it. Thank you. Okay. The capacity of our vacuum blood collection tube production line is from 15,000 to 18,000 pieces per hour. It is a fully automatic line. It will save your labor cost. To answer this question, I have three points need to mention. First point is the material. We have two different materials for vacuum tubes, PET and glass. All these two materials of tubes could be produced in the same line. Second point is the size. There are three different sizes of tubes. All three different sizes of tubes could be produced in the same line. Thirdly, about the additives, we can see there are different additives in different tubes. And all these tubes, if you take a whole line, then all these tubes could be produced in the same line. Only need to pay your attention. First, 
if you want to produce a glass tube, then you need to add a glass tube washing machine. If you want to produce gel tube, then you need to add a gel filling machine. We use Siemens brand for our machine like FMI, Panasonic, Siemens, Schneider, Omron, and uh, AirTech, and uh, other famous brands for our main parts. And this is also one of the factors that can ensure the stable operation and the big capacity of our production line. Wow, you are so smart. Nothing can escape your eyes. Yes, um, you may take our full automatic line, but if your workshop design doesn't allow, you may put it in different rooms and use it separately. So you may use as a phone line and you can use uh, separately in different rooms. We give you this flexibility. Well, you got a really good question. So my answer is, come to us. We could do a turnkey project for you from A to Z. What does that mean? That means if you give me a building like this, I will give you a factory like this. So that means everything inside this factory, including the clean room production line, and from the design to the training installation, all will be done by us. Until you can operate your factory and produce qualified vacuum blood collection tubes by yourself. I want to order, how can I find you? Here is our contact information. Call us or email us. Bye bye. I want to order. I want to order. I want to buy. I want to buy.